because uh, many of you take Lycus 101 very seriously. Many of you have depended upon Lycus 101 not just for information on how to get laid, but for information on how guys think, to find out how your friends are thinking, what they're doing. And many of you uh, live it as a lifestyle. And I could not just let that go without a final class. And that is what this is going to be. I want to tie up the last 11 years of Lycus 101. We've been teaching Lycus 101 since 1998. And we're going to be, uh, we're going to be taking a, uh, a vacation for a little while. And so there will be no Like Us 101 classes, and so it's very important that we uh, we get this message in here, and I want to get it in for you now. There's an overarching theme to everything I have taught in this classroom. And what that overarching theme is, is this. The key to getting chicks, the key to getting laid, the key to appearing successful, the key to being successful... It all begins with something that I had to learn myself. Love yourself. Love yourself first. I'm not talking about masturbation, you elementary morons out there. I'm talking to you about the way you feel about yourself defines everything you are and everything you ever can be. In my life at 12 years old, I looked around an $80 a month apartment and my siblings and my dad who was the hardest working person I ever knew and he just essentially spun his wheels his whole life as he uh, attempted to uh, make a living and support a family. Um, the, the moment came when I stood up and I said the following. I said, I'm better than all this. I'm smarter got more going for me I don't want to be caught in the quicksand at age 17 when I was about to leave town everyone said why aren't you going to the senior prom why are you going to the junior prom my fear was this I thought 10 steps ahead and I said to myself let's say I take a girl to the prom let's say she becomes my girlfriend I'm going to be stuck in the quicksand. The quicksand of people who make $25,000 a year. The quicksand of people who have three children by age 21. The quicksand of not going to college. Not ever being a professional. Not ever making any money. Not ever being able to say, I am someone. Fortunately, I knew that at age 16. At age 12, I knew I was more than this. At age 16, I said I didn't want to get caught in the quicksand. My whole life has been about trying to improve my lot in life because I knew that I was destined to be somebody, to be somebody great. The problem with so many of you guys who I've talked to over the years, and I've talked to so many of you, is that you start off life thinking, I have nothing, my family has nothing, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, smoking uh, smoking weed and I'm uh, drinking and I've got my girlfriend who'll have sex with me ten times a day. Nothing more is ever going to come of this. I'm here to tell you that I came out of the same world you're in now. I grew up dirt poor. I grew up in a family where we didn't know successful people, and we didn't know how to how to be successful. My mom told me ridiculous things over the years like, we don't play tennis, that's for rich people. We don't play the piano, rich people have pianos. And I said, F all that, I'm better than that. I am better than that. Over the years, I did some backsliding occasionally I fell off the wagon sometimes I felt bad for myself I felt lonely I felt alone and I had to get back up on the wagon I had to get back up on the horse in one case I had to start going to a therapist to remind myself that I'm better than all that that I deserve to be loved not by women 
I don't look for love in the people I'm having sex with. Love has to come from within. You have to love you. And the reason you boys get into so much trouble and you have to call your professor for advice is because in many cases you don't have faith in yourself, you don't love yourself, you don't think you're ever going to be anybody. I grew up in one of the worst neighborhoods in the United States. There was no reason to believe I would ever be anything or anyone. Had I been like so many of you callers and just threw in the towel and said, F it, I'll just get a job down at the uh, Exxon station and be done with it, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you now. In my final class of Like Us 101, I want to remind you that if what you want to do is to get laid, you have to be successful or you have to appear to be successful. And in order to do that, you have to love yourself and believe in yourself. Don't be expecting other people to pump up your ego or pump up your self-esteem. It has to come from you. You have to believe you are great. You have to believe you are better than others. And if you don't believe that, then you need to become better than others. Get more schooling. Work harder. Practice more. Practice your jump shot. Whatever it is you have to do, if you're not better than others, make yourself better than others. You'll get laid. You'll have money. You'll be able to breathe easy when bad things happen. If there's one thing I've noticed talking to thousands, tens of thousands of people who've called in over the years, it's that so many of you have no faith in yourself. You don't love yourself. You don't even like yourself. You don't think you're going to be anybody. And you live your life like you're not going to be anybody. You have sex without condoms. You take risks. You risk HIV. You risk impregnating people. You don't care because you think there's nothing going on in your life anyway. There were times in my life that I thought I wanted to commit suicide when I was a kid. Thank goodness I didn't. Because I had no idea how great it was all going to turn out. And the same will happen for you. But first you have to believe it. And you have to have reason to believe it. Start loving yourself. Start treating yourself like you're better than all this. Pretty soon you will be better than all this. I am your professor. This is my classroom. 